Yep, it's that time of the year again, guys. Uniqlo just dropped their U Spring Summer 2021 collection, and you best know we're gonna check it out. And no, we're still not sponsored, guys. It's been two years since that first video. This video is not sponsored by Uniqlo, actually. Unfortunately, they're not noticing me, guys. We gotta do something. They're really playing hard to get, but maybe, maybe it's because I'm giving them all this free promo, to be honest. Okay, this time we're gonna do things a little bit differently though. I've asked for your feedback over on my Instagram of whether I should try everything and then do a top 10 list of my favorite pieces from the collection like I usually do in my hauls or if I should review 10 pieces and then give you my honest opinions on all 10, good and bad. And the majority of you voted for the latter. So here we go. I picked out 10 pieces I like from the website. Let's try them on. First off, we have the Sweat Cardigan. And that is an odd name for a piece of clothing. Why did they have to call it the Sweat Cardigan? I see what they mean, but why not call it the No Sweat Cardigan instead? That feels a little bit more enticing, you know? But anyways, name aside, I really like this piece. I love the sleek texture of the fabric. It's a really nice change from the usual woven texture of cardigans. This feels clean and minimal. The type of cardigan you would wear if you were a character in a futuristic sci-fi movie who wore cardigans. The fit is perfect. The one thing that's an instant no-go for me when it comes to cardigans is when they're too slim and tight, but this one has a nice relaxed fit. And in terms of sizing, I'd say go for your usual Uniqlo size, which for me is XS for tops. Overall, great piece, eight out of 10, would recommend. Next up, we have the wide fit sweatshirt. On paper, this looks like a nice sweatshirt. I like that it doesn't have the usual V-shaped cross stitching at the neckline. And lately, I've really been into the wider fits. But let me tell you, they lied to us guys. I tried two sizes, XS and S, and I'm usually an XS, but both sizes just did not hit the mark. I mean, if this is a wide fit, I don't even wanna know what the slim fit looks like because this is pretty damn slim, but also it just fits awkwardly. The XS is way too small and the way the hem of the sweatshirt is made, it's really tight. So when you do any sort of arm movement, the fabric then just bunches up awkwardly around the belly. But also even the S didn't fit. It was better, but still wasn't great. It just feels like I sized up on a regular fit sweatshirt. So now it's a little bit too big in some areas, but it's not oversized, so it just looks awkward. I'm gonna be kind of blunt here, but I just think the fit here was poorly designed. Maybe, maybe it's just me and it just doesn't fit my body. So if you've tried it and it looked good and the fit was good for you, do let me know. But for me, it's gonna be a pass. The wide fit sweat hoodie. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one because honestly, it's the same exact fit as the sweatshirt. Same issue, excess is too small. Hem too tight, but not in a flattering way. It's a no from me. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with having a tight hem. Some of my other hoodies and sweatshirts do, kind of gives it a cropped look. But the ones that do and look nice, you need to be able to pull up the hem a bit and then kind of have that excess fabric sit over it in a seamless way. But you still want the sweatshirt to be long enough so that it doesn't look ridiculously short when you do this. And with these Uniqlo sweatshirts, you just can't do that. The fabric bunches up weirdly and they're too short. Sorry, Uniqlo. Picture yourself in the desert, walking amongst the sand dunes, hot wind blowing against you. You then return to your private resort and jump into the pool to freshen up. This is the vibe that this boat neck t-shirt gives me and I love it. It's been a long time since I've seen these types of necklines and I think it's a cool look. I wouldn't have all my t-shirts like this, but one or two makes for a nice change to spice up your outfits from time to time. Sizing wise though, these fit particularly small, like smaller than the rest of the collection. The excess is tiny on me, but the S fits perfect. So overall, really like this piece. It's a yes from me, but I would probably size up if I were you. The knit polo shirt is made of the exact same fabric as the boat neck tee, similar fit, except slightly bigger. So the excess actually fits okay on me, but if you look at how it fits on the model on the product page, you can see it's intended to be more oversized, especially in the sleeves, whereas my usual size XS looks more like a standard fit. 
So by sizing up, it actually looks like the intended design. I like this piece, but I'm still 50-50 on it because I'm trying to figure out if polo shirts really are my style. I do have a few and I never wear them, so I'm not sure it's reasonable to add another one. But then again, this one does have a different silhouette, so maybe I'm gonna sleep on it and decide later, but let me know what you think. At number six, we have the easy wide fit shorts, and they are, how can I put this? If the sweatshirt we talked about earlier was a wide fit, this is an ultra, ultra wide, oversized, designed for bodybuilder thighs type of fit. You know very well, I love having a little bit of room in my clothes, a little relaxed fit, a wide fit here and there, but this is just way too much even for me. But hey, if you've been working those squats lately and you got them big thighs, you might find your match here. Next, we have the Raglan V-neck cardigan. This is actually a perfect example of everything I don't like about cardigans all in one. It's super tight, very thin, and fits really close to the body. So why did I try it, you ask? Honestly, I didn't realize on the picture that it was gonna fit like this. I thought it was gonna have the same fit as the other cardigan. Obviously, I was wrong. But hey, you win some, you lose some. Definitely gonna return this one. But if you like that preppy aesthetic, this could be a good option. Not really my style, but if you do like it, I would just say probably size up on this one. Okay, now we're talking. Unlike the previous cardigan, this sweatshirt is honestly my favorite piece from the entire collection. Love, love, love everything about it. The fabric is super sleek and minimal. It has a nice boxy and relaxed fit and a loose mock neck. But I especially love the fact that it's just a straight hem there's no elastic, it's not tight at all, it just gives a cool boxy silhouette. Size-wise, it's in line with the standard Uniqlo pieces, so the XS fits me perfectly, and I would go for your typical Uniqlo size. This is the kind of piece that I could definitely see becoming a wardrobe essential, as it's quite versatile, but it's still different enough from your classic sweatshirt, so you wouldn't get bored of it very quickly. And you know you really like a piece when you end up ordering it in additional colors. The white and black are definitely the most versatile, and the light pink, I think, can be a good statement color. Next up, going into the outerwear, we have the jersey shirt jacket. Interesting piece. It's kind of a blend between an overshirt and a trucker jacket. I like the boxy fit. I like the fact that the chest pockets are quite prominent. It's a simple piece, but the design is unique enough to make it interesting and a viable alternative to the classic overshirt. The only thing that puts me off a little bit though is the color. I thought it would be more of a dark navy when I ordered it, and I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is more of a dark teal. It has subtle hints of green in it, and I don't know, I'm just not really feeling it in this color. But I am going to try it in black, I think it'll look better in that color, but I just hope it's gonna be a black black and not like a wash black. Last but not least, I've actually picked this up in the women's section of Uniqlo U. They call it a denim coverall, and it's pretty much a lightweight denim jacket, except not your typical trucker denim jacket. This has more of a Japanese-inspired design with a collar that goes inwards, Kind of like a granddad collar, but not exactly since it doesn't fully touch. I tried both the S and the M, and it fits quite big actually, so the small seems to be the right size for me here, even though it's from the women's section. Overall, I like the piece. I've been getting a little bored of denim jackets lately, so this is a nice change, but once again, not sure I'm feeling the color. Not that I don't think it looks good, but I'm just not sure it fits the aesthetic that I want for myself currently. I've actually rewritten my, um, Let's call it a style guide. It's something I write out to help develop better self-awareness around my style. And now that I think of it, I probably should make a video about this. I think it's a great way to develop and fine tune your style, but I digress. Back on topic, not sure I'm feeling the blue denim here, but I will try it in black. And uh, yes, I, I do wear other colors in black, but yeah, really solid piece. It's a yes for me. Also, I didn't include it in the 10 pieces just because it's nothing new. It's been around for like the past four seasons at least, I think, but the U Arism oversized tee is an absolute banger. I'm actually wearing it right now. One of the best staple oversized tees in my opinion, tied with Everlane's relaxed premium weight crew. If you're into oversized tees, chances are you probably have a few already. If not, or if you want to venture into the oversized t-shirt territory, I cannot recommend it enough. I'll put links to everything I mentioned down in the description, along with a recap of all the sizes I'm wearing. Overall, I think this was a solid collection from Uniqlo U. The sizing was a little bit all over the place, so you might have to try two sizes and return one in order to find the right fit. 
but there's definitely a lot of solid pieces in there, a few not so great ones and a few gems. So I hope you enjoyed this little haul guys. Make sure you press the like button. Every YouTuber I see always talks about smashing the like button, destroying it, karate, kicking it. What happened to just clicking, gently tapping it? Do that. Helps the algorithm and supports the channel. Thanks guys, wish you a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one. Is that how you pronounce it? How do you pronounce Raglan? Raglan. Raglan.